afternoon, everyone. This is Alex. He belongs to a friend of mine, and we're just gonna do bath, undercoat, nails. The first thing I'm gonna do is his nails, because they are really long. So I'm just going to take the nail clippers and the Dremel. We're gonna cut the nails as short as we can, and then use the Dremel to get closer to the quick to help them recede a little bit. Got some pretty long quicks, it looks like. Good boy. It's okay. I know. So, and then I'm gonna use this. Hopefully he's okay with it. Not only does this get closer to the quick, but it also smooths out. It's okay, bud. You can see the quick right there in the center. No, no, no. No, no, no. This is a new Dremel head that I found. Nope, nope. And no, sir. No, sir. Alex. Alex. Sit. And it is linked down below. It is better than the diamond tip. It takes more off, but it's also reusable. So you're not having to switch out your bands every couple of dogs. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. So I'm just gonna turn this on low so it's blowing that away from me. <coughs> Come here. I know, bud. It's okay. Nope. Alex. Alex. Yeah, it's okay, bud. Sit, sit, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. This is about to die, I forgot to charge it. I prefer to do the nails before the bath because all that nail dust goes everywhere. So this Dremel head is made by Dremel. It is not an off-brand and I found it on Amazon. It is linked down below. It's amazing. Her boy. Nope. Alex. It's okay, bud. Definitely will come out here more often for at least a nail trim. Um, I thought he had super long quicks and he really doesn't. His nails are just long. Alex. Hey, bud. It's okay. Got one more nail on this, bud. You're doing amazing. Doing an amazing job, buddy. Good boy. Nope. Sit. Sit. Okay. 
Good boy. Good boy. Can you stand up? I'm just going to do these. You're doing such an amazing job, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. I'm going to turn. Turn, turn, turn. You gotta turn. You gotta turn. There you go. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. <sighs> nope, Alex. Alex, I know, bud. We're almost done, bud. It's okay. I know. We're almost done. Alex, we got two more nails, buddy. Just two more nails and that's it. That's it. No, it's okay. I know. Buddy. Good there, there. Good boy. All done. All done. Okay, I'm just gonna plug this in behind me and it can charge. All right, so now I'm gonna take some nice warm water and get this hair out of here. That's gross. This looks a lot hotter than it is because it's only 64 degrees in here. This is about 95 degrees. It's nice and warm, but not too hot. It just looks a lot hotter than it really is. So I'm going to fill this up. Two to three gallons of water, and then we're going to do a first bath. And what that's going to do is get the majority of the dirt off. And then we'll use a second bath. And we will scrub him after that with that bath. Okay. Okay. Right. Are you going to tell me about it? Yeah, you tell me about it. It's horrible. I know. I was told you like to talk during a bath. Yeah. What? What? Is that right? Yeah? What is it? 
What? 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 Come over here. Nope. <laughs> nope. We're gonna turn. Turn. There you go, bud. What is it? What is it? Hmm? What is it? Okay, that's done. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you this with my magic cup over here. Huh, buddy. Oh, that's the first bath. We're gonna drain. I'm gonna rinse. because it's really humid in here. And then I'll get that humidity out of here. 69% humidity right now. It's also bringing in some fresh air. So this next one, bring this a little bit better. so much better bud so this next one we're gonna do a regular shampoo we're using this actually I'm gonna use this honey almond I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it it's not so thick huh sweet boy Do you hear that? Sounds a little weird, huh? the cleaner the coat is the more undercoat you're going to remove so I'm gonna hand scrub first plenty of shampoo and then we'll work on getting that undercoat out you can see the amount of dirt that's still in that coat that's why we gotta scrub and soap, shampoo, soap and shampoo, have to sit for it to be fully effective. It has to have time to bond with that dirt. Come here. You're pulling. Yeah, you gotta screw it over. We 
you gotta turn. Turn, turn, turn. There you go, buddy. Good boy. Just gonna get this side wet. Getting the dog fully saturated with water is going to dramatically, drastically help get this dog clean, get any dog clean. You want them to be 100% fully wet before you start applying any shampoo. Okay, so now he's had time to sit. I'm gonna rinse my hands and arms off. The humidity is down to 63, which is still pretty humid, but it's been kind of humid the last couple days. I'm just gonna rinse this down. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rinse him really quickly just to get that dirt off. And then I'm gonna do another bath because he's pretty dirty. Okay, now he's rinsed. I'm gonna show you. That is the second shampooing with hand bathing. We're gonna drain. I'm gonna add more water to this to make it even more diluted. Doing in the bath. Boy, you're gonna feel so good after this, huh? I'm gonna do his head last because he likes to shake. Turn. We're gonna turn. 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 
There you go, bud. It's okay. Hey, you're pushing. Never, ever, ever skimp on products. Okay. So I'm gonna get his head wet, and I'm gonna do two shampoos, two shampooings, not sh two shampoos. It's tear-free shampoo. I gotta get your head clean. Okay. Ow. No, we're not shaking right now. No, 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 we're not shaking yet. Nope. Nope, not yet. We're gonna get all this water off first. Are you going to shake? Hmm? Okay. I'm going to rinse the rest of his body. I'm going to drain this as I'm rinsing. turn buddy
right, so now I'm gonna let that drain and then we're gonna do a conditioner bath, bath, it's not really a bath. Sweet boy. So while that's finishing draining, I wanna talk about something really quick. Um, at the end of May, I am partnering with the Northeast Resource Center and the Oklahoma Pet Food Pantry. And they're having a free laundry day, the Northeast Resource Center is. And I am going to be there, hopefully, passing out flea and tick collars and doing free nail trims and passing out dewormer. And the unfortunate thing is I can't do this without your guys' help. So I do have a wish list down below if you will click it and everything is on there that I will need for that event. Um, I greatly, greatly appreciate it because I will be able to help so many people. Uh, my personal channel is also down there if you're interested in checking that out. So all I'm gonna do is just lift this up and well, if I can, and there's a lot of hair that has come out just from bathing. going to fill this with water and a bunch of conditioner. Very heavy coating of conditioner. I'm going to get that circulating while this is filling up some more. So it mixes appropriately. I'm gonna make sure we have plenty of water. All we're gonna do is, this is just gonna be a conditioner soaking. And it's gonna help loosen all of that undercoat. You're pulling. You gotta scoot over, buddy. Okay. This undercoat rake is linked down below.
just gonna pull all that loose coat out. I'm gonna turn this down to really low. Nope. You can see it's just pulling out that undercoat. Nope, nope. See all that coat coming out? All that coat. All this right here, that's all dead hair, dead fur that hasn't been shed that's coming out. And that conditioner just gives it a little bit of slip so it's easier for it to come out. It's okay, bud. Oh, I know, it's okay. It's okay. He likes to talk. I just find this works so much better in the bath when you have that conditioner to help give it slip. The one thing that you want to make sure you don't do is press hard. You will damage the skin. You will hurt the dog. See all that coat? It's coming out. This is a free groom too. I don't skimp any, even if it's a free groom, I treat the dog, you know, do the, do the groom just as I would if it was a paying, you know, customer. And this is a friend. So that's where the reason I'm not charging. Come over here, turn, turn. Good boy. Just gonna work on this side, same thing. See all that coat coming out? Nope. And it's your turn, buddy. What this is doing is it's loosening and getting out a lot of that fur. So when I go to dry, it's going to blow out the rest of that fur that didn't come out. This is essentially like the first step of removing all of that excess undercoat. This undercoat down here is coming out.
Okay, can I trust you to sit? Sit. 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 Good boy. So I'm just gonna do around his neck. That's a major area that usually has a bunch of undercoat. It's okay, bud. This is not pulling out hair that is attached. It's only removing dead, loose hair that has not been properly shed. It's okay. Good boy. So if I was charging for this groom, because I am mobile and mobile is a convenience, um, I would be charging about $150 for this groom. Some people are in disbelief in the comments that we make that much, but it's a convenience factor and where I'm in the driveway of my friend's house, I come to them, I come to you. This is not a, you know, and I groom your dog one-on-one -on -one so I cannot groom as many dogs in a day because I'm not in a shop. I am not cage drying, your dog is being dried humanely very safely i use a happy hoodie there's a lot of factors that go into mobile grooming um you have to think about the economy the price of gas this is a diesel it's a mercedes it's diesel there's a lot that goes into mobile grooming and prices Depends on where you live, also. When you're doing the tail, you want to make sure you're not pressing too hard because you will damage the skin and bone, and you don't want to do that. I'm just doing a little bit just to loosen that hair. See all that hair? All that hair just from the tail. Okay, so I'm going to strap him back in. We're going to rinse and we're going to start drying. Definitely going to need a shower after this guy. I'm going to turn this up real quick. No, I'm not because there's too much hair. It's clogged it. So I'm going to drain, I'm gonna rinse. If you've been here a while, you have noticed that I've taken out that black mat. Um, and that is because it was so hard to clean, especially with these undercoats. This is perfectly safe for the dogs to be on. Um, it's not slippery. You're pulling, buddy. Kind of, kind of do a mini cleanup as I am washing this down.
conditioner out. tank up for this guy because I knew it was going to be quite a bit of water. He's my only dog for the day. I knew it was going to be quite a bit of water for just him. Rinse everything down really quick. So this is everything, everything that I've gotten out so far just in the bath. Now we're going to do start the drying process. I'm going to drain that a little bit more. Take a clean towel. These are clean. It's nearly impossible to get all these things off. I'm gonna towel dry him the best I can. Huh. Sweet boy. Put a happy hoodie on him. Put my ear protection on me. And go from there. If your dog is still dripping when you go to dry them with a dryer, you have not towel dried them enough. Dogs should not be dripping at all when you go to dry them. I'm also going to be using some Shoshin on him. Um, that will cause a little bit of dripping, but that's okay. So leave-in conditioner anti-static it'll help a lot of that coat come out that needs to come out come over here turn 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 i'm gonna go ask them if they have an extension cord an extension cord so i can actually use my good dryer and show you guys the difference so we have decided that I'm actually going to dry him outside so I can use my heavy duty dryer. So I'm going to set up my other camera and you guys will be able to see it that way. the video and you saw how fast I was able to dry him he was a tad bit damp around his neck but almost 100% dry and um, unfortunately 
I am considering switching over to a wagon tails because of the generator. And I know there's so many people that have issues with the generator on the wagon tails, but it's the dryer situation. I love everything else about this van except the drying. I was able, I don't know how long it was, maybe five, seven minutes, I was able to get that dog completely dry. And usually it would have taken me 30, 45 minutes to get him completely dry. And I did it in five to seven with this other dryer. Um, the other reason I'm considering switching is Hanfi does not have a trailer. They don't have a trailer and I would like to have a generator. Um, I would like to be able to carry more passengers. I can only carry myself and my daughter uh, and eventually I would like to grow my family and I cannot do that um, with the van. I don't have another seat, so.